What's up y'all, it's Randy aka Naturally Fearless and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be talking to you guys about some natural hair rules that I just don't follow. <laughs> Which y'all know that it's a bunch of rules out there, you know, people telling you, you need to do this, you need to do that, and if you do this, it's wrong, if you do that, it's wrong. On this channel, I say, do what works for you do what your hair loves and follow that journey and let your hair flourish on its own terms okay so i think i have about six or seven rules you know that i don't follow <laughs> um, i've always told you guys a million times before before i big chopped my hair again that i am very basic with my hair and my hair loved the fact that i was basic i grew my hair to waist length on my own terms and my own rules you know in the beginning i tried to do you know everything that the natural hair community told me that i needed to do and it just wasn't working y'all so once i went off and started doing what i know works for me my hair started to flourish if you want to see my second big chop video um i'll go ahead and link that down below also you know why i big chopped my hair again all of that stuff i just feel more naturally me with short hair but Let's just hop right into this video, y'all. The first rule that I do not follow from the natural hair community is I use shampoos with sulfates. I use whatever shampoo is gonna work for my hair, whatever shampoo gets my hair clean. And I also don't wash my hair once I wash my hair two times, you guys, to make sure that my hair gets nice and thoroughly clean because the basis to any wash day before you get to styling and all of that is your hair is dirty. If your scalp is dirty, your hair and your scalp is not flourishing, like period. So I use what works for me, shampoos with sulfates. I've never really just been like, oh, I'm not gonna use that because it has sulfates in it. Which brings me to the second rule that I do not follow from the natural hair community. I am not that ingredient conscious. Ah! I don't necessarily, um, you know, read the backs of packaging on what's in it, what's not in it. I mean, I'm just not. <laughs> not for any particular reason. I just never really got into ingredients like that. And I've never really had an issue with my hair not flourishing because I wasn't really into being ingredient conscious. Another natural hair rule that I do not follow is I don't always use a leave-in conditioner every wash day on my hair. I mean, now that my hair is shorter, you know, some of my roots have changed, but some products that I use, I use it as a leave-in and a styler because it works perfectly for both for me where I don't have to use a leave-in, a cream, and you know, so on and so forth. Depending on the products that I'm using for styling will basically determine if I'm gonna use a leave-in conditioner or not. Cause some of my products that I use, I don't have to use a leave-in conditioner because the products moisturize my hair enough to where I don't need to put a ton of products in my hair. But sometimes I feel like I need extra moisture depending on what my hair is doing, what my hair is feeling like that day, or what products I'm using and what I'm feeling like. Just, it, that's just what it is. <laughs> Another natural hair rule that I don't follow anymore now that my hair is short, I don't necessarily deep condition every wash day. <laughs> I mean, there it is. Sometimes I just use a regular conditioner. And um, sometimes even on the days that I do deep condition, I don't deep condition for that long. Like I may deep condition for maybe five to 10 minutes, not necessarily 30 anymore like I did when my hair was waist length. I mean, I feel like my hair is, is fine with that because it's not as long as it was. So I, I just don't deep condition every wash day. I don't deep, deep condition as long anymore and my hair has been doing fine even with the color with me, you know, not deep conditioning every wash day. I mean, that's totally up to you. I wouldn't necessarily say that I recommend not to deep condition every wash day, but you know, it works for me and my hair. <laughs> Another natural hair rule that I do not follow is I don't co-wash my hair. I don't think that that has ever worked for my hair. Co-washing was just not business 
for my hair at any stage, when it was long, when it was short, when I big chopped the first time, when I was at medium length, I need some shampoo up in this thing, y'all. Like, <laughs> like I have dry scalp, dry flaky, itchy scalp. I've always had it, you know, even when my hair was relaxed, I had dry flaky, itchy scalp. So shampooing for me is what works to make sure my scalp gets clean, to make sure my hair gets clean and gives me a clean slate for my styling process for the day. Co-washing never worked because I felt like my hair was never getting clean enough. It was giving me too much product buildup so I was running into more issues by not shampooing my hair on a regular. Another natural hair rule that I don't follow, which y'all should definitely know if you are a long time subby to this channel because I have been using this product for literally years on years, I use grease in my hair. I use grease on my hair. I use grease on my scalp. <laughs> I grease my scalp, y'all. <laughs> I mean, it it works for me. It has always worked for me. I've never ran into an issue with product buildup or anything like that or my hair not growing because I use grease. I've actually noticed that since I big chopped my hair again, I now grease my scalp like literally every single wash day since I big chopped again, and my scalp has been doing amazing. <laughs> and I have a couple videos on my channel on how I use grease on my natural hair if you wanna check that out. Always make sure that my hair is thoroughly moisturized before I put the grease on top. And my hair loves some grease, y'all. Actually, if you want me to be completely honest, my hair loves some basic products. My hair loves when my routine is as basic as possible I use the least amount of products as possible. My hair loves budget products. I mean, it's just, you guys know I do affordable natural hair care on this channel. I think that over the years since I've learned my hair, um, I've learned what my hair likes, I've learned what, what styles my hair likes, I've learned that keeping my routine to a minimum, my hair actually flourishes that way. So I'm just here to let you guys know that you do not have to listen to all of these natural hair rules. Some things that work for other people won't necessarily work for you, just like some products that work for me may not necessarily work for you is because we all have unique hair types and everything. So I just wanted to share some of the natural hair rules that I don't follow. And let me know down in the comment section below any natural hair rules that you don't follow and why you don't. I think that we should stop being so judgmental <laughs> in this natural hair community and just let people do what they wanna do and do what they do with their own head because it's theirs. <laughs> do what works for you. And that's it for this video, you guys. If you guys like this video, make sure you go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Follow me over on my Instagram page, at naturally underscore fearless. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next one.